subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to use a really cool feature in Microsoft PowerPoint and that feature is how to use master slides. Now, obviously, when you're creating documents in Microsoft PowerPoint, you might create a professional looking corporate PowerPoint presentation where you want the logo on in every single um, place on every single slide. Um, normally what people do is they copy and paste the logo on every single slide manually but there's a cool way in Microsoft PowerPoint where you just have to make one change in the master slide view and that's effectively changing it in the template so basically you're making changes to the template which is the master slide view and that will take save you lots of time um, and lots of energy in having to manually change or format every single slide to make it into your corporate look whatever that may be so if for example, this is especially useful, especially if you've got lots of um, slides in a PowerPoint presentation. Let's, for example, say I said I had a 10 slide PowerPoint presentation going through individually and I had in a logo in the top right hand corner of every single slide could be quite time consuming. So there's one way to do this and it's a master slide uh, way where, and that will save you lots of time. Um, and it makes makes your PowerPoint presentations look more professional as well and because everything is in the same place. Um, on every slide so the way to access master slides is you see at the top here you have your ribbon before I do continue actually I would like you to like this video subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends and family I will be ever so grateful so let's continue so top here you can see the ribbon in Microsoft PowerPoint this is 365 version the app version you can see lots of different options I'm under the home option here scroll across to find view click on view there and then drag your mouse to the left side under the master views section here and in the master view section here you want to choose slide master here can you see that slide master now what it will do it will change your PowerPoint into um, the template mode now this is the master slide mode now and on the left side you can see the um, slide sorters slide um, all the different types of slides you can have scroll to the top and the one you want to click on is the top one slide number one here that slide is where I'm going to add my um, logo for the purpose of this video so I'm going to add it to the top right hand corner and once we add it you will see it's going to be added onto all the different types of different slides here so I'm going to just put an object in there and um, for the purpose of this video we're going to say imagine that's my logo so to add a logo or to add a shape go to insert here then go across to shapes I'm going to choose a circle or the oval draw my circle here uh, quickly change the color of my circle to red right click add edit text I'm going to add the initials RA uh, RA solutions just pop it here and you can see not only has that logo or that object been added to that slide there you can scroll down here and you can see is added onto every single page um, every single slide now obviously to test whether this has worked what you need to do is you need to close this template mode or the template view to go back to normal to start adding or editing your slides to do that what we need to do go back to the top ribbon again make sure the slide master option has been selected here go to the right side and here you can see the option which says close master view click on that and we are now in the normal PowerPoint mode where you can start editing your slide now if you have a look my logo my objects is in the top right hand corner now and you can't move it because that's part of my template now I can't move or change that logo from here because I'm, I've come out of my master view option I've come out of my template view so I can make my changes now this is a presentation now another thing what people normally do is they go on and they start changing the type of text here and they start changing it from within here now obviously if you do that obviously if you're doing a professional or corporate looking presentation you've got to make sure the font type the font size is consistent in all your 
slides in your presentation again this is why master view is really helpful uh, the template mode because what you can do once you go into master view here view if I'm not happy with this type of text here or this type of font or the color I can go into my master view so go to the view at the top in the ribbon go to the left side go to slide master here choose slide master from this option here and now if I'm not happy with the fonts click on slide one here um, actually I want my heading um, to be a different type so I want my heading to be like that maybe and the color to be red and then the body text which is here I want that to be a different type of text and maybe have that a different color as well so maybe that's blue there so you can see automatically everywhere else on my um, layout or the different types of slides in the template mode or the master view mode all those slides or the colors of those fonts have changed accordingly now to come out of this master slide view again at the top in the ribbon go to the slide master option and then go to the right side where it says close master view there click on that and you're back here now actually that looks pretty good um, RA solutions this is a presentation now following this so if I go to slide 2 now any further information I add so slide 2 you can see automatically that the colors of the fonts will stay the same so you don't have to worry about changing the font type changing the colors now changing anything else this is your professional looking design there so that's just a quick and easy way to show you how you can use master slides um, to help you create your templates for your PowerPoint presentation how to change the colors add logos add pictures to make sure your presentations are looking corporate are looking professional especially when you're delivering a PowerPoint presentation to somebody to your colleagues to staff to children if you're doing a lesson or something like that so um, again just one more time just a bit of a recap to access master slide view at the top in the ribbon um, you go to view in the options go to the left where it says slide master click on slide master and that will take you to the um, slide master page or screen template mode where you can start editing the font type font size font colors adding logos adding um, logos of different companies or you know so associate companies for example and that will help you understand um, help you in terms of your time really you know so you're not spending ages changing those um, things in your individual slides you can also do another thing here um, just since we're on the subject um, you can see here in your slide master view here the slide master here you can also add background styles so you can choose a different background style so if I click on my slide one again because that's the one I want to add it to and it will hopefully add it to all of them so if that was my background style you can see it's added that background style to all of them so make sure you click on slide one there you can also choose a theme so if I well these are the obviously the themes there but you can create your own theme but that's for another video as well so um, you can also change um, the effects of your text but you can check that out yourself obviously trial and error fonts here again I've been through fonts colors here you can change the color schemes how you want it to be how you want it to look um, let's choose um, I'm veering off the topic now um, this is interesting me so you, you can spend ages oh, actually quite like that one there you go um, so that's my that's gonna be my template for example my slide master so once I'm happy with it close your master view and there we have it that's my, gonna be my design moving forward just for the purpose of this video I hope this video has helped you uh, check please check out master slides in PowerPoint it's really helpful it'll save you time and effort uh, creating your own designs and adding your logos your business logos please like this video please subscribe to my channel um, take care of yourselves